How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got a big old box right here with a lot of weight to it. Matter of fact, it weighs that where I see that? 8 pounds, 12.4 ounces. Who's it from? What's in it? I don't know what's in it, but I know who it's from. We'll be right back. As far as who it's from, it is from Mr. Jeff Brummett. So with that being said, we already know we're going to need two episodes because of the size of this box and because of who it is. We just already know, don't we? So with that stated, let's crack it open. See what's in this big old box. Tell you what, I, with Jeff, you never know what he's going to send. I mean, he contacts me and asks me if I can do this or do that. Looks like you're leaning up. Let me touch your dad's hair. He always says, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? I mean, sure. You know, absolutely. Because, I mean, come on. Taking the time to send a big old box like this full of goodies for me. And you want me to put on a set of decals or something for you? Sure. No problem. No problem at all. Hey, Pete. What you got in the box? Don't know, but we're going to find it, ain't we, buddy? Some original gin release. Ooh. Some original gin release. Wow. Some castings to custom for your diorama. Just fun stuff. Enjoy. Jeff B. I always, always enjoy, brother. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I always enjoy. Got a Nashville Music City Visitor's Guide because Mr. Brummett lives in Tennessee, so he sent that to me and I always, always, like, it, like I always say, newspapers, whatever. Super cool. I'll spend some time. Ooh, there's that car museum. Ooh. Ooh. Sweet. I'll spend some time looking at that big boy. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. Like I said, this is definitely going to be a two-parter. He's good at packing. I'm getting that. Brother's good at packing. TV time. Now I'll try to remember to hold it up a little longer because in the other video where I did it, it took a few seconds for the camera to adjust. So I'll try to remember to hold it up there so it'll adjust. What do we have in this? TV time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't have one of these bad boys. I've been wanting one. And everybody just... I can't never find one. And the ones you see online are just so outrageous. One of my all-time favorite race to get home from school TV shows. Niles over at Nostalgia, he sent me one that he powder coated. And I greatly appreciate it. I love it. I got it over there on my shelf. But now I have the the actual 18 van in, in its colors. Wow, Jeff, thank you, brother. Mm. Here's what I say, that'll go right there, right on front with his golf truck he sent me. Here's what I say with Jeff, you just never know. You never know. Because he is always going places looking. He's got friends that help him find stuff and all that. So you just, you just never, ever know with him. All right, cool. That is cool right there. Seeing that, and whenever I see something like that, it always puts me in the mind of uh, Old Brother Where Art Thou, where that old man is going down the railroad tracks singing. Well, I've got the train to go with it. Oh, magnet too. That's cool. That's very cool, man. Thank you. Look at that. Sweet. See, you never know, Jeff, what you're going to get. You just never, never know. All right, let's see. Okay, and this is what I'm, what I was saying. He wants me, he said, he and I talk back and forth, as he does with a lot of people on YouTube. But we talk back and forth a lot, and one of the things he really likes is he's trying to change his collection around a little bit. And he really likes golf. So he found this Porsche. It's a matchbox, you know. But he wants me to put golf decals on it for him. Not a problem, but I want to look at this car. I haven't seen one of these in person. Let's see what this poor boy looks like. Oh man, that is sharp. 
That is very sharp. Real rider tires on there too. Wow. I'm gonna have to hit you up to see exactly what kind of decals you want. Do you want one big one in the, the hood? Do you want something going on the side? I'll hit you up. We'll get it taken care of. Because I already did a truck for him. So if you go back and look in my videos, you'll see the truck where I, square body where I put golf decals on for him. Thanks, man. You know, I'll definitely take care of that for you. I'll put it over there by itself. Ooh. Here's another car that I never, ever saw in my area. Never saw. We get the tape off of it. It's the Rod Squad 57 Chevy. And like I say, I actually, in some, most cases, I like the mainline version better than the super version. This mainline version looks so much better than the, the super version to me. That's my opinion. Heck yeah, man. That's very sharp. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. I mean, just that little bit right there. Oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. You got in here. I can't tell. It's in. A I bet I know what this is. Because I just saw something. I can see right there. Chevy. I turned it around right here and I saw the red and white stripes. And I'm like, I know what this is now. At least I assume I do. If it's what I think it is, it's the M2 casting of the red, white, and blue striped Camaro. The uh, IROC car. Let's see. And it's in the appropriate bag from Riley's. Yes, it is. Oh my God. Yes, it is. And I'm actually planning on eventually doing a striped car for 4th of July or something along those lines. <sighs> Look at that. Is that not just a sharp core or what? Mm, 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 mm. Dang, brother, I didn't think I'd ever seen that because I went to my old rallies. Didn't have them. Did not have them. Freedom Machine, 85. Checking my messages, sorry. Because <laughs> I sent him a message about something I'm working on right now. I'll go ahead and give you a little teaser of that. That's all you're going to say. All you're going to say. Right on, man. Thank you. I appreciate that, I rock. That thing is gorgeous. I appreciate that so much. Got some leftover sprue. Looks like the rear of a truck or license plate frame. I'll find out here in a few minutes, but you know what, what these things are good for? What they are really good for? There's a couple mirrors. Yeah, that's like for a big truck. Some of them are actually shaped like nitrous bottles, believe it or not. You can take that and cut it off, see how it's got the shape to it, paint it blue, got you a nitrous bottle. Heck yeah, thank you. All right, next up, another one in tape, so I'll be right back. That's how you do it. You put the tape right on the end. It protects the car in a cheap Chinese blister because it goes back and forth down the road. All right. It doesn't matter what kind of truck. Any kind of truck. I love a truck. And I almost bought one of these bad boys way back when. The GMC Cyclone. There was the, Cy the Cyclone truck and the Typhoon little mini blazer. <clears throat> Sharp car right there, man. Or truck. Thanks, brother. You see what I'm saying? It don't worry about it. But I have more from cars I've taken out of blisters and done for customs and everything, so I can replace that. That is no big deal. Thanks. Right on. What is this? 
What in the world is that? All right, lots and lots and lots of decals. Us customizers can never have too many decals. Never, 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 never have too many decals. What was this? Double sided tape. Gotta find out what, what, yeah, I'm sure it's in here, I don't know. Gotta find, put that in there so I don't get lost with the windshield, cause I don't know what that goes to. Mm -hmm. No idea just yet, but I will. <laughs> Got one wrapped up here in a paper towel. And that looks like, oh, I don't even guess. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I don't have one of these. Every one I have has the open top. But we have the bone shaker. Like I said, every one I have has the open top. Because I actually I have a plan for one of these something I want to make. And somebody's already done it. You know how it is. You can't do anything in the Hot Wheel world that hadn't been done before. But I have an idea for that. Man, yeah. And I see why these are so popular. I mean, there's this. That's one of Larry Wood's most famous designs right there. Heck yeah, man. Well, I can't open this one. It's a 2017 Honda Civic hatchback from Matchbox. I can't open that one. It's in the box, sealed up. I can't. Uh uh. uh, uh. But thank you, I greatly appreciate that. Got the Ricer JDM crowd right there. Pack of four. Let's see what's in this bad boy. <laughs> that is sweet right there. That is sweet. Who's that made by? Matchbox? Yep, yeah, Matchbox. 1969 BMW 2002. Heck yeah, man, that's sweet right there. Need some different wheels, but that is a sweet car. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, got the BMW. Might as well keep going with the. 17 Accurate NSX. Mr. Live or Die cast would really like this one because he likes the Accuras. That's sweet. I love that blue. That's a pretty color. Mm. Then we got the, the 2019 Land Rover. That's actually very cool. I like that. I, I even like the wheels that are on this one. I mean, I know I can put bigger ones on or whatever I want to do to it, but I actually like that one the way it is. Okay. Six by six Mercedes. Can you imagine driving that down the road? Holy cow. You need an air horn for that bad boy as a horn. Yeah. Soccer moms get in your way. <laughs> wow, Jeff, thank you. See, that's why I tell that. Gotta get me a swallow drink. I'm sorry, but when I talk a lot, I get hoarse. That's why I say with Jeff, his his taste and his collection is just so wide, so wide. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I know what this is. I can tell by the color of the holler already. Car fell out. I don't have any of these types of haulers. Ah, I used to have this one a long time ago. This is part of the plate series. You got a little plastic um, clear box with a license plate on, cover, cap that goes on it. And it would always say like a state with a name. This one happens to be Creco. Okay. I used to have that one a long, long 
time ago and it's pouring down rain outside that's why I'm doing this now because because the weather I can't do anything outside man yeah I never thought I'd see one of these again thanks buddy that will go perfect on my diorama for the the Le Mans heck yeah I can't say with Jeff, you never know. Because I didn't even know that car was in there. I just thought it was the hauler. And then that fell right out. Look at that bad boy. Altered real base gasser. Man, yes. I don't know if the rest of it's in here or not. If it's not, I might just take that off and do it like that. Have it like a flatbed hauler. Heck yeah, man. Thank you. Wow. I guess or that comment that joke or something else right there. Wow. Thanks, brother. That's a beauty. That red and white looks so good. So good. Mm. That's one of my wife's favorite cars. She loves the Mustang. She loves Chevelles. And she also likes the Monte Carlos. Look at that. I'm gonna get me a frame and put that up somewhere in here. <laughs> Thanks, man. January 1971. I used to get a lot of brochures and stuff from when I shop, shop professional archery. I used to always collect the catalogs and everything, the product catalogs. So I could go back. Yeah. In the forums and stuff, people would ask me, well, what's this, what's that, what it come out with, and all that stuff, you know, so, man, yeah, right on. But, um, I used to do the same thing for cars, car manufacturer catalogs, and all that stuff, so I'd know what's coming up. All right. He said he's going to send me this, right? I knew this one was coming. The Z06 Drag Racer. Already opened up, so I don't have to worry about opening it up, because I... I got an idea of something I want to do with that. It'll go right here on my custom thing. Cause I I got an idea. Got an idea for that. I'm gonna show everybody something. Cause not a lot of people know this. Some do. Most people don't. They just get the car and they're like, oh that's cool. You know, I like the car, yada yada. Let me show you this real quick. Hold on. Hot Wheels is taking a hint from people like Jakarta and Tolly Garage and all them, Ak Akiya Husada, who make the front clips removable and everything. Because that's exactly what this does. Front comes off, right? That way you can set it up like that, like if it was a drag strip. And the body also comes off. So you can have a complete race car set up sitting there. It's pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, they're starting to take cues from people like Aki and all them and Jakarta. Super cool car though, isn't it? That's definitely going to need a, a, a touch. I like it as it, I like it as it is, but Alex Laughlin is not my favorite driver. Sorry, Alex. And you hooked up with um, Gas Monkey and y'all did that deal y'all did. Uh, but anyhow, that's a whole different video. Boss Hog. Because Jeff knows I'm going to do a Duke's Hazard diorama. I'm going to have Boss Hog's Cadillac. I'm going to have Daisy's um, Roadrunner. Yeah, painted yellow with black. I'm going to have a Jeep. Cooter's tow truck. 
course generally Roscoe's police car Let's see what we got here yeah that could very well work for it. very well strip it down paint it white put the horns on the front absolutely that could this is a premium too it's got the metal base absolutely that could dang that's, that's a pretty car though Johnny Lightning thanks man tell you just been hooking me up on the the stuff for my dioramas because he goes to a lot of flea markets a lot of antique malls a lot of antique shops I mean he just goes everywhere so he says if I'm looking for something let him know and he'll try his best to find it so I greatly appreciate that I never really ask for anything because you know people have their own lives but he's always asking if there's something that I want right on got the 2021 Bronco in blue it's actually a great looking ride but I think I might make a rock crawler out of that eventually somewhere down the line if I if I my health holds up and I keep doing this which is totally up to all y'all as long as y'all want to watch I'll do make a rock crawler out of that I just begging to be a rock crawler heck yeah See, I sit around and I just, when I see something, I get all these ideas, and then, where's the time? <laughs> Where am I going to get the time? All right. When I was a kid, I so, you know, there was two things. Well, let me start this off correctly. When you're a kid, that's when you start thinking about what you want to do you know you see it on TV or in the movies or some, you know your role model will you'll get the idea of well, I want to be a fireman I want to be a police officer I want to be in the military I want to be one of two things I started off with um, pilot and because of my ears I had to have tubes in them when I was a kid so I when they took them out it left holes in my eardrums so that took care of the pilot thing. That, that, no go for that. So then the next thing up, the second backup thing to that, I really love the old trucking shows. McCoy, uh, BJ and the Bears, Smokey and the Bandit, all them. Truck driver. Wanted to be one. But then I ended up getting married before I had time to do that. <laughs> so that took care of that dream. But that's all. Right. I don't mind it at all. Don't mind it at all. Ah, ah, yes, and you know, in the packs, these cars they look kind of funky, but out of the pack, they look really cool. Torino, not Torino, Torino, T R U E N O. It's actually a very cool little car. See, I'm sitting here as I'm looking at it, thinking about things I can do to it. I need to quit that. Quit. Oh, yes, yeah, sir. Got another one. Fire department. I now have the black one. I have the original red one. I have the one you sent me last time, the white one. And now I have another one. This one in red. And it metal base sounds nice plastic one of my favorite TV shows growing up was emergency really like that show getting a collection of these now thanks buddy you, you have started me off on so many different paths because I now have the truck collection going on I have the rescue going on the moon eyes is growing very big um the little red the little red express wagon the truck little red express truck not the wagon that's the one the little red express the pickup truck and i have a collection of those wow mm. all right all right i'll have to hit you up because this is a I forgot what you wanted you said you want to do this 
forgot, but I'll hit you up. You want to make a customized bo that bone shaker? Not a problem. You just can't remember which one you shade you want. So we'll have to work them pieces out. No way. No way. I was just sitting there talking about it. I had no idea. I honestly did not look in here to see. And it looks like there's more than one. But I was sitting there talking about, about my trucks and then a little red express and look what popped up next. Dang man. And for the time back in the day, that was the fastest production truck they had. 1970 Dodge Little Red Express. Wow. And Jeff, thank you so much. Man, you, you, you're too kind. Way too kind. Got another one. You're way, way too kind, brother. This one is in the light blue. I'm only gonna do one or two more openings and then we'll do a part two, so hang on. There it is in blue. Hmm. Love that little truck. And I'm gonna I see the back of it, so yep. Oh man. I was talking about the Little Red Express and showed the to my growing collection saying that I don't have the original one. So a great channel supporter sent me one out of the pack, which is super cool because all the other ones were out of the pack. Well, now I have one in the pack. Wow. Thanks, brother. That's what I keep saying if, about this community. If you say you need something, people will trip over their own feet to try to get it for you. I mean, it's just it, no other community like it. I don't mind. And there's another one. I didn't see that one coming. Man. Look at that paint job on it. And they actually have a we have a Mustang funny car from a year or two ago that has that same paint job, same color wheels and everything. That's sharp. I think they got a Mustang because I think I traded it to, well the body, I robbed the wheels. I traded it to Flying Valiant for a set of decals. That and a bunch of other ones of course. I'm going to open this one. I'm going to open this one. And this one and then we'll do a part two. How about that? Sound okay? So I'm gonna set this down on the floor. I don't have any idea what's down there. I see one or two cars. The backs of the pack, but I have no idea. I'm sorry about my squeaky chair. One day I'll get a good one. But each one of these has four each, so let's see what's in them. Ah. Right on. Another work truck. This has got the flatbed dump, rocks, lumber, whatever you want to haul, that bad boy will haul it. Heck yeah. I tell you what, if I did gas land bills, I could come up with some ideas with that stuff. Mm. Got two of them. Thanks, buddy. I have me a growing truck collection. Man, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I have the little small Nova station wagon you sent me, but look at that bad boy. Mm. That's a beauty. Fire, fire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
And then there's this brother or sister, or however you want to look at it. Ooh. Ooh. He calls this my the last box he sent me. He had the the what is that? the super in. He called that my Christmas box. He called this one my birthday box. My birthday ain't till December. He called that box my Christmas box. And this is my birthday, so let's see what I get for my birthday. So far, it's fire. So far, he brought the smoke. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Alright. What is that? Nissan Xterra. These are actually pretty cool cars in real life. I mean, they ride great. Heck yeah. Uh-oh. Into my Fast and Furious collection. <laughs> I probably didn't have, but... I had the Red Chevelle like everybody got this year. I had the Superbird. The Dom drove or Daytona, whichever one it was, and I had the Malibu from two, uh, Tokyo Drift, and then a couple Chargers. But there's a buddy of mine down in Florida. He really likes Fast and Furious, so I sent them all to him. Just here you go. Well, lo and behold, like I said about this community, everything you do comes back around to you twofold because. I gave them to him, and what a month later, I met Mr. Brown. He said, "He said I'm gonna send you some cars," and I started getting too fast. I mean, uh, Fast and Furious cars. I got the the shop truck, you know, Racers Edge. I got that. I got uh, the Gold Nova, the Premium. You know, just several, several of those cars. Now I get to add to it. Right on. Nas, he's, I think he's got about every Fast and Furious car he made. Well, Honda? Thing's actually pretty sharp. Trying to turn me into a ricer, yeah. Many people have tried. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, another Xterra in red. Those are sharp. I can see a lot of things I could do with those. And this will be the last one. It says for you to custom and keep. And let's see what we're keeping. And they all, they're all heavy, so let's find out. This looks like a, yep, it sure is. It is a truck, oh wow. Nice old Ford. Ford hit a home run when they designed their trucks back in the day. But the only problem with these types of trucks, when you see them nowadays, the people that rest them on them and, and redo them and everything, they, they try to use the original chassis. And it, you just, it's so hard to do because if you look at them, rather than it being a straight line across there, there'll be a dip right in the middle, right behind the bed. Rather than the truck being straight, it'll have just a little bit of a dip. 
it looks like this cab is like this going down the road and the bed is like that I mean it's just man yeah that's sharp right there I know I ramble on too much I'm sorry I'm trying I just all these things evoke so many thoughts and memories oh wow I only have let's see I have the red edition one and I have two or three of the Hello Kitty ones <clears throat> now I've got this one they hit a home run with this little joker man I mean they, they hit a home run with this one this one has the little surfboards and stuff coming out the back most of them just have the engine the exhaust and everything this one has surfboards I honestly don't think I want to do anything with that one Jeff I could see myself driving one as if I lived around the beach, Myrtle Beach, any beach, Virginia Beach, Venice Beach, whatever. I could see myself driving one of them bad boys. Well, you already know what I'm going to do with this one, because I'm doing you a blue one. But you already know what I'm going to do with this one. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Challenger SR SRT Hellcat. You already know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna tell everybody, but he knows what I'm gonna do with this. Mm, that's a beauty. They nailed the design with that when they re when they redid it. All right. I am actually in the process of doing one of these for Jeff. as we speak huh? Well, now you know the car these were not in my area just they were not in my area so when I mentioned that I was looking for one he said well I got gotcha. you look mad magazine split that's a sharp ride I love those wheels on this one too Heck yeah, I love those wheels. I wish they still sold it. I wish they sold these in my area. I'd buy up every one of them I could just for the wheels. And then you had the metal bodies and stuff. Wow. Dang, brother. Thank you so much. I mean, whew. yeah, if this is any idea of how the second half is going to be, oh my God. <laughs> So you guys and gals are going to stay tuned. Jeff, brother, thank you very much. I mean... <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Now I get to spend the next week cleaning and polishing and thinking out ideas and what fun, what fun. I think that's what I'm going to do with that. Cut these off. You just have it like a flat bed. That thing is hot right there. I mean, God, Jeff, thank you, man. You know what I like, brother. You know what I like. I appreciate each and every single one of these. You know that. We talk back and forth all the time. But with that said, everybody, I'm going to get off here. Take care of business right here, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so very much for watching part one. Stay tuned for part two. Like I said, if it's anything like this, it's going to be a good one.